Hey everybody, David from Flash by Cycle not here. I'm going to do a little tech talk on reading air fuel ratios with your spark plugs. I know you guys will like this because I get pictures of spark plugs all the time asking me what I think. So let's get right to the process. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pull yourself out a tumbler of your favorite brand and flavor of whiskey. I prefer screwball peanut butter whiskey. You're then going to take your spark plug and soak it in said whiskey for 25 minutes. I've already pre-soaked this spark plug in the whiskey and now I'm going to drink the whiskey. <sighs> Delicious. Now let's look at the end of the spark plug. What do we notice? We notice it's a little brown, it's a little black, it's a little white spots. What's that all mean? All right guys, so truth is you cannot read your spark plugs to tell air fuel ratio. At least not the way most of you guys think you can. Usually everybody will pull the spark plugs out after while they're changing them. They'll look at them and they'll make some assessment of their air fuel. This is completely bogus. It's not, not how it ever worked uh, and it doesn't work. Um, you can read spark plugs uh, for oil consumption, oil control, stuff like that. But to check a spark plug for air fuel ratio, it needs to be done in a very specific manner. And let me explain. So... Back in the day, you know, we, we didn't have all these fancy machines that actually measured air fuel ratio. So, and really we didn't need them because we were tuning carburetors. And in carburetors you have like three adjustments. The, the main jet, needle shape and needle height. And really you're not changing needle shape. So really you're just changing main jet and needle height. And you would have areas that you, were, you had an issue where the bike was running poorly. So you'd want to figure out, was it rich or was it lean? So you would ride the bike in that area where you were having the issue and you would literally pull in the clutch, turn the bike off, pull over and have to pull your spark plug and out that and look at it. And the reason that we had to do it that way is because when you just pull a spark plug, it's telling you the, the condition of it, exactly when you pulled it. You can't have your bike sit there and idle for a couple of minutes and then turn it off and pull your spark plugs for an oil a spark plug change and look at them and try to figure out anything about air fuel ratio. Uh, and air fuel ratio is not one thing. It's air fuel ratios all over the place, especially on fuel injected bikes. I modify tables that look like spreadsheets that are like 30 columns wide with different <clears throat> uh, throttle positions. And you got 40 rows in them for RPMs. And we adjust these things all the time because air fuel moves all over the place. So even if what you're sending somebody, or even if you're looking at your sparkle, what are you checking in at idle? Do I care what the air fuel is at idle? Not really, as long as the idle is stable. Who cares what air fuel is at idle? Because as soon as I start moving, the air fuel changes. And so, so really, truly, you cannot read spark plugs for air fuel, minus some things and stipulations. Like I'm sure some two-stroke racers are ready to come through the computer or phone at me and say, ah, I used to, but you know, in general, you don't change your spark plugs, pull your spark plugs out, look at them and try to get an idea of their fuel ratio. It just doesn't work that way. Fortunately, tuners like myself, we spend a lot of money on equipment and a lot of time setting up bikes to get the air fuel ratio very specific in different RPMs and throttle positions. Sending us pictures of your plugs doesn't really help. So, sorry to bust everybody's bubble. No more sending me pics of spark plugs, please. Thank you. Cheers. Enjoy your whiskey. At least you got several ounces of whiskey in a glass. So, enjoy that. If you'd like more motorcycle related content, remember hit that subscribe button down there. Thanks.